Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from A Countryman's View. Hope you're doing well and hope you had a nice Easter. Today on my thumbnail I have the title End Times Cannabis Legalised. And uh, I saw this tweet recently um, from Amir Sarafati on Telegram. And it says, officially starting tonight, today, uh, April the 1st, the le legalisation of cannabis in Germany came into effect. Crowds of people gathered after midnight at the Bra Brandenburg Gate in Berlin to celebrate the event. I've said that many times before, I'll say it again. Once of the best tools to control people in the world is by drugging them. In the 80s, the slogan of Nancy Reagan was, just say no. Here we are 40 light years later in a major campaign to say yes. These are indeed the last days. And I tend to, to believe that. Now, many people probably think, oh, it's just, uh, it's just like drinking, um, it's just a bit of, a bit, a bit of fun. But uh, I don't know all the ins and outs of cannabis at all. But uh, and I believe it can be used for medical purposes if it's used in the right way. But sadly, so many people use alcohol, drugs, and what have you, in in, in the wrong way. And uh, you know, it's got. It says here people are celebrating. And if we look here in the Telegraph, um, it's got Germans celebrate new cannabis laws as jails raced to free offenders. Hundreds of people with possession with possession convictions are being released as part of a p partial legalization of the drug. So I don't know if they've legalized it um, to actually free up the jails. Probably nothing would surprise me in this day and age. But um, as Amir said here, um, it's uh, when people are drugged up, they say yes to anything, and um, it makes it, gov it makes it easier for governments to, to control them. So, for example, to bring in the new world order, etc., if people are drugged up, it makes it much easier because people aren't going to rise up the same. And I know people who say, you know, oh, it doesn't hurt to have a drink, and I'm not against anyone having a glass of wine or a beer or anything like that. It's when it becomes an addiction, which it can so easily happen. I, I worked in a homeless centre years ago and we had so many problems with alcohol. And I know these people didn't put their hand up when they left school to say, I, you know, I, I want to become an alcoholic, but it just creeps up on people. So we have to be so careful of these things that we think bring joy. They don't always bring joy. I was thinking uh, the other day, uh, have you ever um, met anyone who said oh, I, I started drinking and since I've started drinking my business has really thrived I don't think so and uh, we have to remember that there is a downside to all these things there's only one thing that can change people and that's the, the spirit of God and that knowing Jesus which brings true freedom and a lot of people won't admit that but the happiest people on earth are spirit filled Christians and of course it gives, when we know Jesus he, he died for our sins we've just been celebrating Easter and we have have the truth that sets us free and the gift of eternal life and much more and I was thinking um, that about a year ago I created this video um, that, uh, that entitled Great is the Darkness and funny enough I was listening to this song this morning and the, um, the words are up here and it reminded me of the way the world's going and uh, it starts off great is the darkness that covers the earth oppression injustice and pain nations are slipping in hopeless despair though many have came in your name and it made me think of the words of revelation 21 4 and god will wipe away every tear from their eyes and there shall be no more death nor sorrow nor crying there shall be no more pain for the former things are passed away a lot of people are using this um like smoking, drinking, to get away from reality. But uh, um, Jesus is coming soon. He's going to wipe away all tears. And then the song here um, goes on to say, Watching while sanity dies, touched by the madness and lies. And if we look at uh, 2 Peter 3, and that's verse 3 to 4, um, God's, the title is, God's promise is not slack. Knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days, walking according to their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they will they willfully forget, and by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of water and in the water. And, uh, and so, so it goes on, and it's important to remember that God keeps 
his promises and uh, it's easy to get slack and uh, talks about scoffers coming in the last days and walking in their own lusts to me this is uh, legalizing cannabis is people walking in their own lusts uh, we lock people away because they've done something wrong and uh, they're just going to empty the jails out and uh, goodness knows what's going to happen but you see we're seeing nations fall and the song go, go, goes on to say that may now your church rise with power and love at that glorious this glorious gospel proclaim in every nation salvation will come and if we look at a the ephesians um we read we look at the armor of god and uh, if we look at ephesians 6 12 and uh, it says for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places and once again when i see this it it reminds me of um, what's going on we're fighting but principalities and evil things but uh, there is a way out and uh, that's the good news and the song goes on to talk about um, to those who believe in your name help us bring light to this world that we may speed up your return and um, in, in Acts uh, Acts 2.17 um, it talks about uh, it's Peter's sermon and it shall come to pass in the last days says God that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your men shall see visions your old men shall see dreams and on my men servants and on my maid servants I will pour out my spirit in those days and they shall prophesy I will wonder I will show wonders in heaven in the heavens above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord and it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved and let's be thankful that we we can call on the name of the Lord and we shall be saved and then just coming back to the words of the song great celebrations on that final day when the out of the heavens you will come darkness will vanish all sorrow will end and the rulers will bow at your throne at great commission complete then face to face we shall meet so these people want almost like a temporary respite from what's going on but we need to face the truth but the good news is as we read in um, in 1 Thessalonians 4 and 16 to 18 for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel angel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and thus we shall always be with the Lord therefore comfort one another with these words and we can comfort one another with these words we see every all the madness going on but we know the end of the story that Jesus is coming soon so despite the madness focus on the good things focus on the promises of God and be thankful that Jesus died to come and set the captives free and give us eternal life now maybe you're reading this and you're not a Christian I've got a prayer up here and uh, if you say it after me and genu genuinely believe it that Jesus died for your sins and rose again to, to bring us eternal life you can have that wonderful gift of eternal life the gift of peace and so much more if you'd like to say this prayer after me if you're not a Christian which reads dear Lord Jesus I acknowledge you as Lord and Savior of my life I repent of all my sins and I ask you today to take over complete control of my of every aspect of my life amen and if you said that and you meant it it means you have been born again and the Spirit of God can reside in you just make sure you get around strong people of God read the Bible and get it and get in a, a solid church that preaches the full gospel not a watered-down gospel the full gospel and small groups are great because you can meet um, you can meet new people and you can meet people with a passion who can help you in your daily Christian walk if you've got any questions on this video I'm here to help and uh, please feel free to comment Thank you very much for watching.